Okay, so my first stitch is gonna, I'm gonna bring the needle up to begin four canvas threads from this upper left corner. Right here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull my needle through. And I'm gonna take this needle out. Um, I only needed it to mark the edge, and so I've done that. And my first stitch is gonna cover five canvas threads down. and two to the left. And this is a Rhodes heart. So my Rhodes heart, uh, the stitches are just gonna follow one another around, making the shape of a heart. It's not a difficult stitch to do, um, and I think it's gonna make a really pretty border. Okay, now for the last stitch, I'm gonna make the point of the heart, and I'm gonna come up over all the rest of the stitches, and it's gonna hold all of the stitches in place. And I'm gonna make sure as I stitch that this stitch, this last stitch, is the same for all of the Rhodes hearts. Now, to go to the next one, I'm gonna count over from this corner five canvas threads. And I'll make the next heart right, right beside it. And it's gonna be exactly the same. So for a border, usually all of your stitches are exactly the same. And usually after you've stitched two or three, um, you don't have to look back at the diagrams anymore and you can stitch quite a bit faster. Now notice that we're sharing holes along this, these straight sides. Okay, so now I have two Rhodes hearts. Now I'm gonna continue stitching across this top edge until I have 12 Rhodes hearts. And I'll join you after I've got that done and show you how to turn the corners.